Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi. I'm a licensed therapist, and today I'm gonna be talking about self-care because it's summertime, and summer's supposed to be about, you know, taking care of yourself. So I'm gonna try my best to do a summertime look. Please don't judge too much. Not a makeup artist. Right then, moving on. So my eyes are primed and I'm ready to go. Let's do this. When people think about self-care, oftentimes they only think about the physical stuff, exercising, sleeping right, eating well, all the things. But self-care encompasses much more than that. Oh crap, I think I had something else on this brush. Dang it. Oh, I'll do what I can. Anyway, so we have to think about not only physical self-care, but we have to think about emotional self-care, spiritual self-care, our social self-care, and professional self-care. What does that mean? Well, I'm getting there, okay? So let's start with the emotional self-care. This might look like taking a mental health day, for instance, making sure that you're taking vacations when you need to, and not just when it's summertime, okay? Summer, summer, summer time, time to sit back and unwind. Making sure you're doing something comforting for yourself, whether that be just relaxing and reading or doing a hobby, making time for that is really important for your emotional well being. Talking to someone about things that are going on with you that you might be struggling with. This is very sunshiny. <laughs> Please don't take my sunshine away. Now, another area that's often overlooked is social self-care. So you wanna make sure that you're spending time with people you care about, talking to friends and family, making sure you're connecting with them on a regular basis to the degree that suits you, of course. I mean, if you're an introvert, you know, that might not look like it's very often, but you still gotta do it. That might also look like getting to know new people, getting involved with some kind of activity. Ooh, summary. It's not a matter of just doing activities to do activities. You know, you wanna do something that you'll enjoy, all right? So you're not a grump with whatever you're doing. Don't do that. It's not fun. I feel like I look like I have some rare disease. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. it's fine. You also wanna think about spiritual self-care. Now I know some of you might be like, oh my God, what's she talking about? I'm not spiritual, whatever the case may be. But that could just mean spending time in thought and reflection, not necessarily prayer. It could also be just meditation, yoga, which could also be like a double whammy there because yoga is also physical care, but it's also spiritual. So, you know, something to think about. So I did this the other day and it looked much better than, I don't know. I'm not sure about this. You also want to reflect on whether or not you're living in accordance to what it is you value, what it is you believe in. So even if you're not necessarily spiritual in the typical sense of the word, I suppose, if there is a typical, but you get what I mean. Spending time in that space can be very helpful in terms of your self-care. So don't neglect that. All right. So in addition to the spiritual, social, and physical, you also have to think about professional self-care. If you're working, and even if you're not working and you're a student, you gotta think about that too. Making sure you're taking breaks throughout the day. And I'm not encouraging you to just sit on your thumbs and not do what you gotta do, but you gotta take breaks, okay? Cause you're not gonna be any good to anybody else if you're not taking care of yourself, okay? So do that. Also, you really have to learn to say no to taking on additional responsibilities that may not be yours to take on. And if you need help with that, you know what I'm gonna say. Summertime. <laughs> Polishing your professional skills is also a form of self-care because if you're doing that, you're probably gonna feel more confident in your abilities, more motivated, and generally just enjoy it better. At least one would hope. I mean, unless you're just completely, totally miserable at your job. But if that's the case, you know, Talk to somebody about it. You might have other things going on there that you might need to look at, all right? I have misplaced my concealer. I have no idea where it is. So I found one, but it's not my favorite. So what are you gonna do? I have a few more things for you guys, but before I move on, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how things are going. What are you gonna do for your summer? You got big plans? I feel like I need to make this a little darker, so I'm gonna go for it. Well, hello, summertime. Not bad. How's it looking? I really hope that I'm getting better at this. Man, I have misplaced everything today. I'm a hot mess. Speaking of hot mess, this is something you have to pay attention to, which can be a sign that you need to practice some better self-care, all right? Are you a hot mess? Pay attention to your mood, your energy levels, your interactions with your loved ones, people at work, 
if things aren't going well there, then it could be an indication that you need to take a look at your self care a bit more seriously. So do that. Don't neglect yourself. It's important. You're important. A hot, bloody mess is what I am. There's another aspect that sometimes is also overlooked and that is your environment. And I don't just mean your physical environment, like your house, your room, you know, your kitchen, whatever. I mean your personal environment when it comes to people in your life, okay? And I know I sound like a broken record, but we gotta pay attention to these things, folks, okay? You gotta take care of yourselves. So you gotta take a look at these things, even though it might be uncomfortable for you, okay? So that means cutting out toxic people that you might need to cut out or take a break from or limit your time with. Get some distance if you need to, okay? So keep that in mind. Where my concealer went, man, it's really annoying. I'm not real sure how I'm feeling about this look. I think my blending's getting better. I think, I don't know. Man, where's my concealer? Making sure you have appropriate work-life balance, okay? I know I'm guilty of this. I work sometimes too much, too long, because I'm passionate about what I do and I enjoy what I do, but it's not an excuse, okay? So take the time that you need to take for yourself, all right? It's important. So I bought lashes and I've been practicing and I don't know where they went. And I'm also not sure like how many times you can use them like technically before you need to throw them away. So one of these days I will do it, I promise. Probably get a good laugh at it because it takes me a while. Anyway, where was I? Right, self care. So make sure you're considering all of the areas that I've mentioned today. Besides physical, you wanna think about social, spiritual, emotional, and professional, okay? And I also added another one, which is environmental, which could, I guess, be tied into social and professional. But you get what I mean. What do you guys think? You like it? Not sure if I like it. In order to practice better self-care, you have to know what it is you need. All right. So if you don't know what you need, then you got to stop and ask yourself that, okay? And you got to take the time to do it. So I would encourage you not to wait until life just bites you in the ass and you're miserable to start thinking about these things. All right. All right. I'm going to finish this off camera because I'm a hot mess. Okay. Be right back. Don't wait anywhere. Stay put. I'm not done with my lips. Bear with me. Forgive me. I got distracted. I remember there was one more thing I wanted to tell you guys, which is not to make excuses, not to take care of yourself. I hear this all the time. I don't have time to do the thing. I don't have time to take care of myself. I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. I don't have time. The more you don't make time, the more likely you aren't gonna have the time. Let me explain. If you are not emotionally balanced, if you're not taking the time that you need to nurture your spiritual self, your physical self, all the things I mentioned, you are going to burn out. And I should know, okay? Take it from somebody who knows. And what happens when you burn out, you don't have the energy to do all the things that you're saying that you have to do because you can't make time for self-care, if that makes sense. So if you don't take anything away from this video besides me bitching at you about you need to take time for yourself, is to take time for yourself. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know I'm ridiculous. This is not scripted, all right? Maybe I should start doing that, but that takes time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's mental health and makeup Monday. I will be back as soon as I can. I don't know when that's gonna be because I need a break. So if you can't tell, I'm a little tired. I've misplaced everything and I'm just a hot bloody mess. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right, cool, All right then. Until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. What the hell happened to my concealer? I don't want this. I need a, I need a vacation.